What's up guys, Biker Dave here. This is a 2010 Toyota Corolla Matrix. This will apply to a ton of different Toyota models. Uh, the issue is we're replacing the steering angle sensor, the SAS it's called, and if you're having the dreaded VSC light coming on your dash and uh, you know, you're not able to figure it out, the problem could be Either the clock spring, which is this here, which is this is how everything connects through the steering wheel to the horn mechanism to the airbag mechanism. That's what all this is. But the SAS has to go on the back of it here. Okay, so just going to show you real quick. It's not that difficult to put this together because it can only fit one way. Notice, you know, it has very specific little slots and everything around this area here. And then this little, these little teeth on these guys here, this rotates also. And it has to fit right in these little slots here. So, and you've got these little pins. See, you got a, to get a pin on the far left, that guy there. Another one on the far right. Those two pins fit in these holes of the SAS. So, you know, when you really look at it, it can only fit one way. So don't get all panicky wondering how it goes together. It just basically just slides in place. Excuse my light here. Okay, so notice how that goes facing towards the back as far as the connector connector is underneath right there and you'll just push it and it'll click in place like so see it's got little hooks hooks all around it that hold the SAS in place okay then you'll turn it around this way to install it on the steering shaft okay hold on one second so just make sure you push the SAS in place so that everything clicks in. Notice these pins that are poking through on the side. Those have to come through properly. That slot has to sit properly. Okay. Then it'll face this way. And notice it can only go in a certain way in this assembly also. See these little slots? You got slots there. Over there. Okay, so all that can only go in one way. Now, as far as the clock spring, it has five revolutions that it can go. So, of course, it needs to be sitting at around two and a half revolutions uh, before you finalize its installation here. Okay, so that's the only kind of tricky thing. Okay, so basically turn it all the way one way, you know, until it stops. Then go back around two and a half turns or so. That'll put it right in the center of its turning ability, if that makes sense to you. Okay, and see the connector on the bottom right there? That is for your wiring harness connector, this guy right here. Okay, notice the coloring of the wires. Now yours may be a little different as far as the colors, but just notice the similarity to the connector shape itself. Okay, then you'll also have these two guys for the... right down here on the bottom. Okay, that'll be for these two. And notice they're very distinct on how they're shaped, you know, so only one can fit in a certain way. So you don't have to worry about which one goes where. Okay, so do all that as you put it back together. And notice, and they all click in place properly when you reinstall the uh, wiring harness. Okay, so there's really no guessing as far as that goes. Everything to just click right in. And to set it back in, you know, it can really only go one way. So you got these little hooks over here, over here. Everything just sort of hooks in and you just push it in place. It clicks right in. You know, there's no other way it can go. So don't panic. You know, I know, see, I've only done this uh, twice on this car. Uh, and then these will connect to the horn mechanism, you know, of the steering wheel where the airbag goes. And they only go in one way as well by color coordination. 
And with the steering wheel, so you got these big gaps right on the bottom there. That's where you'll feed the airbag wires underneath. They'll go right underneath there. And of course, make sure your steering wheel is directly straight up and down. You should have done this before you remove the steering wheel, but it should be directly straight as far as level and pointed properly. And then your little 19 millimeter nut that holds the steering wheel in place. Just make sure all this is lining up properly so there's no binding or issues when you try to, you know, when you fasten the lock nut on the top there. And you notice, see the airbag wiring is color coordinated orange and black, which means they'll go orange and black on the airbag itself. So there's no way to mess that up either. And then you have uh, another string of wires here. The shorter one goes right there. That'll be for your horn mechanism. And then the longer one goes through the steering wheel. Just find a hole to tuck it through back there and we'll plug it in behind it. Okay, and okay, here you see. So they come from the <clears throat> horn mechanism out the back of the steering wheel, which is right there. The short one connects short one connects there the long one connects further down under there then your horn or i'm sorry your uh, airbag connectors those two right there and in order for these to connect the little tabs on top have to be popped out slightly both of them on the top have to be popped out just a little bit so you can use either a little screwdriver or a pick okay see what i mean these little caps have to be propped up just a little bit in order to connect them right back there. And then once you get them in place, just push them down. That'll hold them in place. Then we'll put the airbag and, and horn mechanism back together. Okay, and then you'll notice, so you got these little fastener holes on both sides of the steering wheel or of the, uh, of the horn mechanism, airbag mechanism right there. You got one, and these are little screws. Let's see if I can get these screws are right. There's one there, and one on the other side, and those are being held in by a little plastic housing, and those are what tighten right in there to hold the airbag and horn in place in the steering wheel and those are a t30 torx okay see that torx right above the cruise control arm right in front of the camera there that's a t30 torx and that's how you'll tighten down to hold the airbag and horn in place on the steering wheel all right you see See how my ratchet is over here? This is where the T30 Torx is going in on the side. There's one on both sides of the steering wheel. And just, you know, it needs to be good and tight because that's what's holding the whole horn mechanism in place here. So you got that one. Right in there. Okay, one on both sides. And make sure the housing, make sure that this, uh, this, you know, this rear portion, make sure it's pushed all towards the steering wheel, pushed towards you so that it will fasten in place. And then you put the rest of the housing, that right there, that goes top and bottom. And uh, you will likely have to recalibrate the steering angle sensor. And there are other videos about that. Um, so I'm not going to go through that, but I'll put link a link down below of, to show you how it's done. And um, then you should go drive the car for a few miles, and hopefully the VSC light that is usually on, where it says VSC off, you know, right below the speedometer there, hopefully that solves your problem. You know, if your steering angle sensor was missing or not calibrated properly or you had to replace it, that should be how it's done. And uh, hopefully it gets yours going with no more issues. 
Anyway, I'm definitely no expert on this car, but I've done a lot of different videos on things we've done to it. So check out our channel. You'll see the thumbnail link pop up that shows you to all the Matrix videos that we have done. And other cars and dirt bikes, ATVs, scooters, all kinds of stuff. We do all kinds of, you know, projects and fix-ups and uh, troubleshooting and whatnot, you know, for the regular guy, basically. So check all that out and look for our social media links in the description and our eBay store, Amazon store. Links are all in the description. Y'all have a great day. We'll see y'all later.